What's up, YouTube? My name is Spencer, and I help parents and caregivers teach their little ones how to read. Now, when I break this down for you, we're talking today teaching any child to read, right? I don't care the age. I don't care the ability. A lot of people are like, you got to be this, this, this. I don't really care about any of it because when you know how learning to read works, you're going to see this is a lot simpler than what you might think, okay? What I have with me today, I've got a marker, I've got a whiteboard, my eraser over here. I've also got a couple sound cards just to demo. Now you really don't need much stuff. You can actually make a lot of this stuff on your own, but this is just what I like to have on hand no matter who I am working with, okay? Now here is the trick. Your key to teaching any child to read is you literally understanding as the parent, as the caregiver, as the teacher, how does learning to read work? If you don't know this, you can't do it, right? You're gonna be guessing. So if I show you a word, let's take the word mad as an example. Let's say you want your little one to be able to read this word. What would you do? How would you show this to them? How would you teach them, right? A lot of us, we would see the word, be okay, we want the kid to learn the word, so let's draw a picture, right? Let's like show them what the word looks like so it sticks. Or let's do a bunch of rhyming words and let's have them do like mad, glad, sad, and just kind of go through the list of words that rhyme. Not gonna be super helpful, okay? A lot of us think learning to read has to be really hard because we were taught in a way that wasn't productive. We were taught rhyming words. We were taught to guess based on pictures. And when we got to new words, words we've never seen before, we have no idea what to do. So we're not gonna do any of that stuff. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, the first thing they need to know, if we want them to be able to read the word mad, is they need to know three sounds. They need to know this says m, mm, this says ah, and this says d. That's the first step. Now notice, I'm not saying the names of letters, right? Because if they knew the names, this would be M-A-D. When it's time to read, they're gonna say maidy. Maidy. And that's not right. I'm not talking about the letter names. I'm talking about the letter sounds. They need to know the sounds, okay? That's your first step. And when you teach these sounds, it's gonna be really important that you're not just singing songs to them. You're not just singing the ABC song or showing them in the same order every time because when they're actually reading books and they're trying to read on their own, they're not gonna see the sounds in ABC order. They're gonna see them all over the place, right? Anyway, anyhow, any word. So what you need to do is you need to actually show them the sounds and make sure that they can say them quickly, accurately, in any order, any time. They need to be able to say, this is m, mm. this is a, ah. and this is d. That's step number one, okay? And that puts them halfway to being able to read that word. They know the sounds. Now, obviously, as you're working with your little one, you're just getting started, you wanna teach them all 26 of those sounds, right? But just think about this word, we need to know those three sounds. But that's not enough. Because if all you taught them was the sounds, they're gonna look at this and they're gonna go, m, a, d. And you're gonna go, okay, read it. And they go, m, a, d. And you go, okay, read it. They go, m, a, d. They can't put it together, they can't blend it. So the second skill we teach is how to blend words, okay? This is a stage a lot of people get wrong. A lot of people get blending wrong because they do two big things. Number one, they put a picture with it. So imagine I put that picture of mad back on the whiteboard. Well, if my kid can look at a picture and they can say the word, maybe they're reading, but in reality, they're probably looking at the picture. They're probably taking a guess based on the picture and that's not actually reading. The other mistake people make here is they rush right to blending words on the paper. When in reality, that is much harder than blending words out loud. So once your little one knows the sounds, our job is to start teaching them blending and we can do this out loud with nothing in front of us, nothing. It looks like this. I sit them down and I say, okay, daddy's gonna say a couple sounds and I want you to put them together. You ready? Ah. And they say at. And I'm like, great, let's try another one. Ah, n. And they say on. As they get better and better, I start adding more and more sounds. We're practicing blending. We're doing it all out loud. 
when they get really good at this, I'm not using pictures and I'm not writing down, but after they get really good, I'm then gonna start to write down and I'm gonna work up to things like three sound words. Because at the point that my little one knows all the sounds and they can blend them together, that's the point where they can read this word. Now, something I want you to keep in mind, the goal of teaching your little one to read is not so they know specific words. Because when you hand a kid a list of words and you say, memorize this, or a bunch of pictures, you say, look at the picture, learn the word. Your kid is limited to the words that are on that page. They're limited to the pictures they see. In reality, there's millions and millions and millions of words they need to be able to read. So instead of teaching them, here's a hundred words to memorize, we teach them the skills they need to read any word, okay? The skills they need to read any word. And that starts with number one, learning the sounds, number two, blending them together. But you're like, Spence, my little one can do that. Or, okay, I get that, but what about all these other sounds? What about all these other words? What comes next, okay? And here's the biggest thing you need to do after that stage. They know the basic sounds, they can blend them together, is we're gonna start to get harder and harder sounds different sound combinations, different vowels that they need to learn. And so one of the biggest steps you can do in teaching your little one to read is gonna to be to teach them some of the other sounds they're gonna see after these basic words, right? So if you're at this stage, you're like, okay, but now when we add an E, it's not mad, it's made. The A it's saying is hard vowel sound, the A saying A and the E saying nothing, right? They need to learn all of this stuff too. So if you think about like the single letters and you take the letter H for example, H by itself says H. With the C in front of it, it says CH. With the S in front of it, it says SH. With the T in front of it, it says TH. And think about an R. R by itself says R. With an O in front of it, it says OR. With the E, a U, an I in front of it, it says ER. With an A in front of it, it says R. There's all these other rules, right? Those are all different sounds and all different rules for us to teach our little one. But once we know these sounds and we know these rules, it becomes very, very easy to teach them because all we need to do is teach them the next sound or teach them the next rule. Learning to read does not take a genius, especially if they're young. You don't need a baby genius. You don't need to be an amazing reader. You don't even need to be a confident teacher. All you need to do is teach them the sounds, teach them how to blend them together, and then teach them more of those sounds. And that's gonna get you 90% of where you need to go in your little one being a confident, happy, successful reader. There's a couple little rules after that, but we really don't need those until we get to about second grade, y'all, okay? A lot easier than you might think. If you have a little one at home and you want to help them read, okay? Couple different options for how to get started. If you are starting from ground zero, the very beginning, learning the letter sounds, I've got a free training in my bio, in my description, that would be very helpful for you. I'll go through the same explanation, how learning to read works in more detail, as well as how to get started teaching those first couple sounds, how many to teach at a time, and how to start blending them together. If you've got a little one who's further in this journey, you're like, okay, they can read these basic sounds, but when you got to that advanced stuff and you started talking about the vowel combinations and the other sounds, that's what they're missing. I've got a full course on this called Reading Books that's gonna go through all of those other rules, right? It's gonna include things like reading fluency, like sight words, right? Start to get into some of that more advanced stuff too. But knowing where your little one is at now is gonna help you match to the right resource to get them started. At the end of the day, your little one is ready to learn to read when you are ready to teach them. Teach them their sounds, blend them together, teach them some more sounds. It doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. And until next time, I will talk to you soon.